Hey guys, Brooke here and welcome back to my channel. Now a lot of you may already know that Dennis and I sold our old faithful 5.8 meter Caribbean Baron. With a lot of research and considering what was on the market at the time, we ended up with a 2001 model Haynes Hunter Encore 680. I'm told that this particular boat that we bought was the first one to be fitted with the V6 Mercruiser injected MPI motor. From the get-go, neither Dennis or I were very happy that we were buying a boat with an inboard motor. We both much prefer outboards, but we thought we could give it a go for six months and see if the inboard is okay. If we didn't like it, then we could change it down the track and put an outboard on the back. So as you can see, I didn't even get to do some proper filming of the boat before we figured out we have to do a major engine overhaul on it. We literally had the boat for less than two weeks and used it for less than half a dozen hours when the inboard gave out and seized up. We were absolutely beside ourselves and realized that we'd bought a lemon. Now that we had a seized inboard, there was a lot to consider. To properly diagnose what was wrong with it, the motor was going to have to come out of the hull regardless. Now that the motor was out, the debate between us and our friends was A. Fix the motor that we've already got B. Put a V8 in it or C. Put an outboard on it None of these options were super straightforward, but I put my foot down and I really wanted an outboard. We knew that putting an outboard on it was technically going to be a lot more work, but it's what we really wanted in the end. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say Dennis and I are idiots for not actually getting a mechanic to look over the inboard before we purchase the boat. But doing a compression test and checking for other mechanical issues is a big job on an inboard motor. And to be honest, I think it was just a series of unfortunate events all at once. The seller seemed very genuine and he explained everything there was to know about the boat and all its history and all its service history and everything that he'd fixed recently. The seller hadn't used the boat for about six months because he just purchased his dream boat, so therefore this one was just sitting in the garage, which could have been one of the issues as well. It hadn't been used for a very long time, so when we took it out for a test drive, everything seemed fine. But when we took it home and used it for around about six hours, that's when the issues started to occur. Straight after we took the motor out of the boat, Dennis started stripping it down to try and figure out what had gone wrong. After we'd taken the boat out, we'd put the earmuffs on to wash the motor out, and this is when it seized up. Dennis pulled the spark plugs out, only to see that there was water shooting out of some of the spark plug holes. So it immediately filled up the pistons with oil. As you can see with how clagged up the engine is, this must have been an undiagnosed problem for a very long time. It could have something to do with the intake manifold water gallery gasket. It seemed to be quite rusted and blown out in one particular spot. If this has failed and thrown salt water into the engine, then this could be some of the problem too. But not being able to pinpoint what the exact problem was with this engine was the nail in the coffin for me. So we wanted to order an outboard as soon as we possibly could because I knew this was going to take a lot of time too. One of the most common problems on an inboard motor is that the risers and the exhaust manifold can corrode or block up which either let water back into the engine or block it up and overheat. But the seller said that he'd already changed these not too far in the past. So stick with us through this arduous journey if you want to see the amazing transformation from inboard to outboard and how it's done. And it's definitely not as simple as that sounds. So thanks for watching this episode guys. Stay tuned because there'll be more episodes on this to come. Bye now.